Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. So I hope all of you have been having an okay Friday. I know I have, and I was just finishing work and getting ready to play some Factorio, which is how I wind down on the weekends. And my friend sent me something, and initially I thought this was completely a joke. And I know some of you were a little frustrated with our clickbait title from our last Dolly 3 review, but we're trying to grow the channel and you have to do what you have to do. So bear with us, uh, it turns out that Dolly 3 is being released on being way ahead of when OpenAI said it was going to be. So I have no clue if this is them playing catch up or them just thinking, well, why not? We'll just release it. Um, so I thought this was fake, but uh, this came, but this came from uh, the artificial guy who is a very well-known um, sort of source for Microsoft information on uh, in AI Twitter. And a few other people have really seemed to support that this has worked. So there are people uh, outside of, you know, just this guy who claim to have also had access to Dolly 3 in Bing. Uh, so not in ChatGPT Pro, but in Bing. So this comes from an account named uh, Mikhail Parakin. There's no profile picture, but he has like 11,000 followers. And curiously, a lot of his prior posts have been about other Microsoft announcements, predominantly um, Bing Chat and LLMs that are directly tied to Bing. So clearly he works at Microsoft because this test image says Windows is the best. And clearly that's a Windows PC. Uh, for, for me, I don't think Windows is the best. I think Windows is garbage. But clearly OpenAI and their, you know, some of their AI stuff is kind of interesting. So yeah, what's curious is he posted this and then he hasn't actually answered any questions. So if we go to the actual post, which he put up about three hours ago, there is, uh, let me see here. Yeah, so he actually doesn't respond to any of these questions. What is curious is there are people who are now getting access to it who did not uh, have access through a beta. And these images are looking really good. They're looking even better than what we saw last week from a few very limited users. The text coherence looks very good. There are these incredible pictures of these uh, Dolly-based flowers. And this guy is saying, yeah, that he used it through Bing which is kind of cool. I guess the zoom out feature has some issues, but that's, we're gonna see a lot of these as now it's actually available. This guy generated some more coherent text with an image. And yeah, so what's interesting is uh, Mikhail actually doesn't answer any questions here. It's people just saying, cool, it's on Bing and people are confirming that this limited release is actually working. And you can tell this is the case because this guy has recreated the prompt that Mikhail supposedly used to actually make his initial post image. And we'll see what's going on here. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I've been waiting. Uh, I refresh my Bing. I totally don't have it. So I don't know if my region just isn't there yet or if the East Coast is just lagging behind. Let me know if you guys uh, get access to it. And please post as many of, of these images as you want in the comments or link them below. Or send them to us on Twitter and we'll retweet them. So, yeah, and in closing, what we can see here is Mikhail, you know, I, I wonder if this is a real engineer or if he's just uh, sort of a marketing channel that uh, Microsoft quietly uses. Again, it's really interesting that this came from this like random marketing channel and not OpenAI. And OpenAI told us we were going to have to wait until October to see any of this. And I guess you can use it on Bing now, which, you know, no one uses Bing, but now this is the case, I guess. So, um, yeah, and his prior tweets were just, you know, finished rolling out a pretty big update in our precise mo mode of Bing Chat. Some other LLM features at Microsoft, like using LLMs for discovery and natural sciences. Um, this weird article about planting trees in Kenya. So, yeah, kind of a weird update. Um, but I guess we're all going to be able to try out Dolly 3 way earlier than we thought. And again, apologies for the clickbait. Uh, I, I'm going to make it work through a while, and if you've subscribed, um, please share, uh, you know, tell your friends to like and subscribe. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, check out our link to Vast AI in the comments for uh, the best prices on NVIDIA GPUs you can rent to run uh, LLMs or generative AI. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, and we hope you learned something.